Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video, I'm going to talk about the new MediaTek Helio P22 chipset. And this chipset was just launched a few months ago. The MediaTek Helio P22 chipset is the new addition to the Helio uh, uh, series of chipset. And this is also based on the 12 nanometer process. And uh, again, just like the uh, Helio P60 chipset. In fact, this is a mid-range chipset. It has some of the advanced features that we have found on the Helio P60 chipset. For example, it has features like like uh, dual volte AI features that we saw in the P60. Apart from that, it also incorporates features like Neuropilot uh, module and uh, Imagic uh, Pump Express to name a few and improved actually performance for dual camera setups. And I hope this chipset will bring uh, affordable, uh, what do you say, mid-range uh, smartphones, which is actually important in a country like India. And again, uh, regarding the, uh, this chipset is also based on the 12 nanometer process. Hence, it's actually a lot more power efficient, just like the Helio P60 chipset. Generally, what we see in these uh, budget-oriented and mid-range chipset is that they don't use very efficient process, but this one is also based on the 12 nanometer process. For example, some the Qualcomm Snapdragon chipsets, for example, if I recall, the Snapdragon 625, 636, and even the Snapdragon 450 chipset are all based on 14 nanometer process. And this one is based on 12 nanometer process. And generally, when you lower that, the cost actually increase. Uh, but again, I'm glad that uh, MediaTek didn't uh, do some cost cutting. And even with the Helio P22 chipset, it's based on the 12 nanometer process. Now, moving to the architecture of this uh, chipset, it's also an octa-core chipset based on the ARM Cortex A50. And it can be clocked at uh, up to 2 gigahertz and the GPU is the Power VR GPU and which can be clocked up to 650 megahertz. And the good thing is that this chipset actually supports both DDR3 and DDR4 memory, which is actually important because DDR3 memory is a lot more cost effective. Hence, this chipset can be implemented by what, the, what do you call these Android manufacturers, phone manufacturers. If they want to create a low, what do you say, uh, cost uh, device, they can do that because it does support DDR3 memory. But again, it also supports the faster DDR4 memory. In terms of other features, this uh, chipset actually supports the modern screen aspect ratios up to 20 is to 9. And also the new screen aspect ratios that we are uh, seeing these days commonly, that is 18 is to 9 and even 19 is to 9. Now moving to the camera, this uh, chipset actually supports uh, uh, has good support for proper dual camera setup up to 13 plus 8 megapixel and uh, the ISP is actually highly optimized for dual camera setup so even when a device has the dual camera setup uh, there won't be any delay when you're using uh, both the cameras we have seen a lot of smartphones in the budget range when you use the both the cameras there is a delay in processing that you will not have on this for example even the Snapdragon 625 chipset many smartphones are implementing it with dual camera setup but the ISP is actually not optimized but on this uh, Helio P22 they have optimized the camera and the image signaling processor is optimized for dual camera setups another good thing is that this chipset actually supports EIS that is electronic image stabilization so if you are going to shoot video even handheld the video will come out good and the ISP that is the image signaling processor helps uh, in fast focusing so you won't have a problem so in terms of uh, video and even photography this chipset is actually optimized. Moving to AI features, just like the Helio P60, this has AI features which actually aids it uh, in, for example, the bokeh mode or even the face unlocking mode. And uh, it also has a smart photo album algorithm which helps and also uh, the AI features actually help in the dual camera setup. Apart from that, uh, it does support AI uh, open platforms. For example, the AI frameworks like TensorFlow, uh, TF Lite, Caffeine. And generally, if you notice the budget oriented chipset simply do not get uh, these kind of AI features but this is actually present on this Helio P22 chipset. Another good thing is that uh, this chipset also supports true dual 4G Volte, which is actually very important because in India, most of the networks are moving to Volte. So you can simultaneously use two, uh, what do you say, uh, 4G SIMs and Volte SIMs with this one. So this functionality is provided out of the box on this P22 chipset. 
Moving to Bluetooth, this supports Bluetooth 5 and Wi-Fi AC standard. So uh, it supports all the latest Wi-Fi standards and even Bluetooth 5, which is generally not found on budget oriented uh, chipsets. And uh, moving to network reception, they have also improved that. For example, they are implementing uh, the STAS2 smart antenna technology for better reception on this uh, P22 chipset. So as you can see, guys, uh, though this P22 chipset is sort of a cost effective chipset, it does provide a lot of features that we generally find on what do you say premium uh, chipsets and um, in the next couple of months there'll be some smartphones that will be launching even in india that will come out with the uh, helio p22 chipset so i will be looking forward to test them out so guys if you still have any other questions regarding this mediatek p22 chipset do post your questions in the youtube comment section below so that's it for now thanks for watching and if you guys are still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys